Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the workshop out at Jekyll Bay Company. I am Jen Cravasi, your hostess with the mostess. It is Monday, April 24th, 2017. Uh, may not mean a whole lot to a lot of you, but to me, I turn another year older today. So happy birthday to me. I should be out fishing, but I have a lot of stuff to do, and I promise you I'll be getting three days of fishing in. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week. So I will take some time off, I promise. Uh, it's not easy to take time off just because there's so many orders to fill and that's a good thing. So something else that I just wanted to hit real quick. Um, I've been getting a lot of photographs from you guys uh, and fish catches with my baits and keep them coming, man. That stuff is really super cool. Um, it makes me feel good and it should make you guys feel good that you're buying a bait that's gonna work for you. Um, so, hey, Gordon and Nick and, and um, Kevin and everybody that has been sending me pictures, and there have been a lot of you, keep them coming. You can post that to the Jekyll Bates Facebook page. You can submit them to me, Jen Cravasi at JekyllBates.com, or you can submit them to my personal Facebook page. Just, um, just search for Jennifer Cravasi, and I will get those up. Love seeing them. Um, makes me smile. Should make you guys smile. And even better than that is like a lot of the stuff that you guys are catching are big lunkers so uh, I'm, I'm smiling hard with you guys when you're in gals when you're fishing out there with a jekyll bait so what do we have going on in the shop this morning well um a lot of stuff um what you see here uh, a good bit of special orders and something that i wanted to touch on really quick um lots and lots of fun with the last couple of days in special orders specifically um, I got to give a shout out to Gordon Riley. He's an Indiana tournament fisher. He did submit a picture of a lunker that he caught on um, almost five pounds with one of my shallow runners. But he's also a, a first year tournament director in his bass club. And he's fairly innovative in that he's also, I don't know if they do cash, I would imagine they probably do like a big bass um, a lunker pot. But as a tournament director, He's also awarding first place in Big Bass some specialty custom lures. How very innovative and creative. Um, so yes, we do those at Jekyll Bates. Um, this is a Pop Max that he wanted in a sexy shad. And it has the, uh, the club initials and the lake and the year. And of course we paint two of these because one's for Big Bass and one's for um, the first place. So we've got same thing and a fire tiger and a spro little John. And then also, let's see, where did they go? Dun dun. Yep, Brookville. Okay. So this is a a darker powder yellow shad pattern. So, and, and apparently the feedback that I've been getting is the guys are really having a good time with these things. So, kudos to you, Mr. Riley, for being creative and a fun tournament director. Love it. Here's a little S pattern. And I'll tell you what, um, I know I, I showed some teasers and sent out some pictures from being up at Norfolk and uh, this pattern just was whacking big bass, uh, whites, smallies, uh, Kentucky spots, and largemouth. Kind of hit the slam with this one. Um, great spring bass. Yes, it mimics a trout, but it also mimics a young bass. Uh, it mimics a shad. So the shad are in the spawn in Arkansas this time of year. And then we have, uh, we've got another customer who has requested some wake baits. And boy, do we have fun with these wake baits. This is going up to Nick up in Maine, uh, one of my best customers as well. Really cool, um, very festive. And if you look, this has got the, uh, the wonder webbing on it. Just having a blast doing this kind of stuff for you guys. Super, super fun. The red bug, always a hit in the spring. These are great bed raiders. Um, you can kind of float them over top of a bass bed and you'll usually get some pretty consistent bites out of it. And all of these of course need to be dressed and, and geared, uh, cleaned up, got to get the eyelets cleaned up. But just having having a good bit of fun 
with these patterns for you guys. A couple more things we'll show you real quick. Now this is a floating slash shallow suspending um, and I normally wouldn't do a crawl pattern on this but I got a concept from a friend of mine who says hey would you make a crawl pattern for me on a jerk bait because I want to fish shallow creeks for smallmouth. And you can do it a few times of the year um, when they're chasing shad back in the fall and you can do it this time of year when they're in transition from a spawn and they're going back into their heavy feed mode. So this is, uh, this is a replica of, uh, of a Rapala. It's got that flash and it's just a fun little crawl pattern and of course I did paint the bill on this since they wanted to crawl and there's your crawfish claw. So fun 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 lots of fun doing this and then we've got some perch going back to the wake baits and a creek chub or you could probably argue that this would make a pretty decent red horse. little sucker imitation. So folks, that's, uh, that's the long and short of it. Um, there are some other baits in here and I don't want to take up your whole day. Just wanted to kind of give you a glimpse of what's going on here at Jekyll Baits. Thanks for checking us out this morning. Um, we've got uh, hopefully a couple of uploads coming for you. In the next couple days, need to get the entire three-day festivities from Norfolk uploaded, which is going to be coming. And that's pretty much all I've got for you this morning. Oh yeah, hang on, one more. Susquehanna Flats in a wiggle wart. This is going out the door this morning. Good stuff. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you on the water.